Republika Day. 25th of August, if I'm not mistaken, is our National Women's Day, or the International Women's Day, the Bihari Wanita Kamansaan. But there was also another day in August which is actually important, 1st of August. Does anyone know what 1st of August this year represents? And this, this particular date changes every year. It changes every year. Uh, and I'm asking a part of that, because she knows the answer to this question. So, um, I mentioned just now the resource that you must watch, which is Breaking Boundaries, uh, the um, documentary that features David Attenborough and Joachim Rockström, uh, who's a, planet, um, a planetary scientist. So please watch that tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but the other resource that you must uh, check out, and I love sharing resources because it's all about sharing knowledge, not just about gatekeeping knowledge, is what's known as the Earth Overshoot Day. So you can Google that, Earth Overshoot Day. And that calculates every year. It's a very neat website. It calculates every year the day on that particular year where humanity's demand for ecological resources and services exceeds what the Earth can regenerate for you. That means that's the day in which we've gone too far already in terms of what we do, the demands that we take out of the earth, in terms of the carbon emission that we put, in terms of the pollution that we put out there, in terms of the food that we consume, in terms of the waste that we generate. It should be December 31st. That's equilibrium, because that's when the earth says, okay, I can absorb you for one year exactly, or surplus. This year, it was August the 1st. August the 1st, we had already exceeded and overshot our ecological deficit or balance sheet with Mother Earth. Is that right, Nasri? Yes. That's right. That's so, Nasri, with all this pessimism that we've discussed, let's try to conclude the session by saying that the window of opportunity is still open. We have still not reached tipping point yet, and I watched uh, Joachim Rockström's um, TED Talk, Johan Roxham's uh, yes, uh, <laughs> TED Talk saying that, um, that we are not yet at tipping point. Yes. There is still a small window of opportunity in which we can reverse this existential crisis that we face. Tanshree, maybe the last word on how we should feel positive, that there is hope but there isn't that much time for us to get our acts together. Yeah, so Johan is a friend and he always says we have less than 10 years. That's all we have to turn this uh, terrible situation right now and not meet our tipping points, which are very, very close. Now, I think that the first thing I will say is never lose hope because I am very sure that we have enough knowledge, technology, uh, we have enough uh, you know, resources for us to do the right thing. What we need to do now is make sure that you know, the will is there. And the will comes also from people's demands. So do not stop demanding from whoever you can demand from that you need a better planet. You know, I always ask myself, you know, how, how am I going to answer my creator on the Day of Judgment? that I have this knowledge now that I have passed to you that we have a planet in trouble and we all need to work together. And I think that is now an amana that I have passed on to every single person in this room. You know now the situation of the planet and every one of us has our circles of influence. Exert it. Use your voice. Use whatever means you have because this is not just for us. We are the generation that has destroyed the planet, and yet there are many, many generations to come. And I think we owe it to future generations to do the right thing. So we have the resources, we have the intelligence, we have the technology. We need now to make sure it's all used. On a wonderful note, uh, please join me in giving a warm uh, round of applause to once again, uh, thank you very much to Siwa, to, to uh, Kamona and her community.
committee for organizing this wonderful talk and uh, all the best in uh, galvanizing this uh, organization and your members and of course the, the community of women activists in this country, uh, not just uh, to find solutions for today, but also to, um, to get everyone to start thinking about the bigger questions of uh, our planet and of humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. KJ, and Sweden, Mr. Jamila Mahmoud. That was a very good session, and we are privileged to be your audience this afternoon. We learned a lot too, right? And I think everyone is so serious listening to them. Uh, for your information, we can have this session again, maybe in the next three months. We intend to do it quarterly. But I now have ideas to take it further, inshallah. Thank you for all the questions. Once again, we thank your distinguished fireside chat panel for your time and very insightful session. May I now invite our president, Juan Mona Jamaluddin, to present a token of appreciation to Tansu Jamila Mahmoud. Thank you, Mr. Kenny, for that. Thank you very much.